Welcome to my channel everyone. My name is Judith and for today's video I will be showing you guys how I make a delicious plant-based burrito bowl. I haven't made one of these in a really really long time. I want to say it's been over a year. I would make them all the time when I was following more of a plant-based diet. So uh, as many of you know or if you don't know I stopped eating plant-based. It was just a choice that I made and it's not that it was not working out for me. It was absolutely working for me, but um, I just missed certain foods COVID happened and I was like, let me just enjoy it for like a week and here we are a year later where I have or has it been two years already? I think it's been two years already where I haven't been able to get back to it, but um, I was doing pretty good where I was just throughout the week eating more of a plant-based diet uh, but since my parents moved back if 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 you've been keeping up with me my parents moved back in so it's been really really hard because they're not plant-based they're not on a plant-based diet they just eat all the delicious stuff that Mexicans eat and it's been really really challenging so I decided to take this month as the perfect opportunity for me to start eating more of a plant-based diet uh, because they're actually gone for a whole month they're on vacation and I want to, I just want to build that habit again so I'm not completely back to fully plant-based um, I don't know how long that will take or if I if, if I ever want to classify me as a plant-based eater a fully plant-based eater but I definitely do want to make sure that I follow like an 80% plant-based diet where uh, at least throughout the whole week I am eating more greens and just healthy stuff uh, especially right now that I'm really I've really been focused on going to the gym and uh, well for a few months now but I wasn't really putting in the part of eating healthy so this time um, this month I really do want to focus on making sure that I do the the workout part and also the food part so just keep watching and you'll see how i make this delicious burrito bowl so i'm first going to start with the black beans i've had them soak already for a few hours i'm going to uh drain them right now and throw them in the pressure cooker so this is through ninja as you can see i absolutely loved it i bought it probably uh, i want to say like two years ago and it's a pressure cooker, an air fryer, a steamer, it bakes, it roasts, it's a slow cooker, and it broils. Super handy. So I'm gonna drain these beans and get them uh, started. I am cooking two cups of beans. So I'm going to throw them in here. And then out of the water, I'm going to do six Six cups of water to season my beans I'm going to add some cumin I normally do tables uh, two tablespoons but I just realized that I'm almost out I'm just gonna add whatever is left it's not a lot but I'm gonna add it in there I'm going to add two serrano jalapeno peppers that's optional. I want it to be a little bit spicy. I am going to add six cloves of garlic. And I'm going to add a whole onion. I'm not going to dice it. I'm just going to throw it in there for the flavor. And some salt. This one I'm just going to wing it. I almost forgot. I'm also going to throw in two bay leaves. They're all kind of broken, but let me throw those. Or is that about two? Yeah, that's about two. Then I'm going to close it with the separate lid that it comes with for when you're going to do some pressure cooking. You lock it, you turn it on, and I'm going to press pressure on low for 10 minutes hopefully that's enough time start 
Now I'm going to make the rice, which I'm just going to steam. I am making extra um, for other meals that I'll be cooking throughout the week. That's three cups of rice. I'm going to add the water. I'm doing four and a half cups. I'm going to add some veggie seasoning, veggie broth. Just for a little bit of flavor. Now while the beans and rice are cooking, I'm going to get my veggies ready. So I'm using red bell peppers. I don't like this knife. going to cut half an onion I would do all of it but I didn't realize I was going to run out and I need some for the rest of the week I may or may not be crying right now I hate cutting onions they always make me cry. Oh my god. See if you can see me. I'm crying. <laughs> Mix them with the bell peppers. For the base, I like to use romaine lettuce. Oh, look at that. I just closed all my circles on my watch. Yes. That's how you know I had a productive day. Oh, okay. So I just chop it up into smaller pieces. I'm going to throw a paper towel in this bowl just to soak out any water that they have. Extra water because I need to wash them. Now I'm going to chop up the cilantro, which is going to go in the rice, the corn, my dressing. For the most part, I leave the stems in. I do cut them out whenever they are not mixed like this. But because they are mixed up, I'm just going to cut off the ends. I'm going to chop it up into a little pieces. Oh yeah, much better. Open it. Look at this. Ready. Now I'm just gonna go in and take out all the garlic and onion. But it is ready. Mm. Zoom in here. Delicious. Now I'm going to cook the corn. So I'm just throwing a little bit of water. That way I don't have to use any oil. I'm using two cans of corn. I'm going to squeeze a lime. I'm going to throw in some cilantro. Some salt. And that's it. I'm going to... Stir it. Cover it. The corn is pretty much ready. I'm going to move on to the rice since it's also ready. So for the rice, I minced up some garlic, a tablespoon of olive oil. 
I'll do one more. I'm going to add a uh, half a lime. May might add another one just because I really like it to taste like lime. You know what? I'm going to add another lime. The other half a lime. So one full lime. You can do as you please. And just mix it around. There you have it. I'm going to add it to the rice. I'm going to throw in some cilantro. And some salt. And then going to fluff it. I think I'm going to go in with more cilantro. Now I'm going to make the fajitas. Same, I'm going to add a little bit of water. That way I'm not using too much oil. I'm going to throw in the bell peppers and the onions. And then I'm going to throw in some salt, garlic powder, onion powder, mix it around, close it. And let it steam for a few minutes. Okay, so for the dressing, I'm doing half a jalapeno, four garlic cloves, one lime squeezed, half a bunch of cilantro. One avocado, one teaspoon of onion powder, half an onion, half cup of nutritional yeast, A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add some lemon juice just because it looks very dry. I don't know if it's in a blend like that. Okay. And then you just blend. Try to bring it down the most I could, but uh, the lighting is horrible. It looks very nice and creamy. Look at that. Can't wait to try it. It smells really good, so hopefully it tastes as good. I am now going to serve my bowl. So the base is going to be the lettuce. I like a lot of lettuce. The veggies, the vajita veggies, the corn, mm. the rice. It came out very mushy actually, but it still came out really good. The beans. Hopefully it looks good on there. The cilantro lime dressing. I can't make it pretty, but I'll try my best. Hopefully it's good, it smells really good. Okay, so the burrito bowl is done. 
look at this goodness oh my god it looks so good i really love 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 making these i'm going to mix it around a little bit so i could do the little did i just dirty myself the little taste test mm -mm -mm. you can see the heat coming out of it oh my god this thing's going all over the place you could always uh, make some pico de gallo as well. I don't really like it on my uh, bowls or on anything actually. So I don't make it. You can make some hot salsa or hot sauce. Um, I decided to kind of keep it simple. I really like the avocado lime dressing. This is the first time I'm trying this one. I normally just look up different recipes on Pinterest. This is the one I found today and it's everything that I already had so it was easy. Let's try it. Mm. That is so good. Alex is gonna come eat dinner. He's gonna be like, why are you eating without me? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. 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 I didn't think my I didn't take my thumbnail. Let's see. It will still come out cute. <laughs> Alright you guys well. I am going to enjoy my burrito bowl. If Alex makes it within the next five minutes, I'll show you guys his reaction to the food. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any other suggestions. I really want to try uh, to have a at least one cooking video up for you guys every single week. So let me know if you have any suggestions. I am wanting to stick more to plant-based but anything is welcomed on this channel i like i said earlier i am not going to be a uh, hundred percent plant-based but i am trying to be at least 80 85 maybe even 90 percent plant-based uh, so I hope that I'm able to, I will, I will be able to do that. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you guys. Besos. Is it just me or do you do a little dance when you're eating? I like to just like wiggle my body and just, uh, it feels so good because I'm eating. Thank you God. Thank you God for this food. Alex just got here. His plate. Oh no, my camera's gonna die. Gotta hurry up. Smell test. Pass. Mm. Don't lie, babe. Mm. Don't lie to them. Mm -mm. Mm. It's good, huh? Mm. You like the sauce? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Cilantro lime dressing. That's super. It's plant based. My camera died, but Alex was just saying that it came out really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. This is gonna be a recipe. Don't tell anybody how to make it. Ah! <laughs> don't post this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> ah! You just did what I was talking about. The what? little dance when uh. you eat. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>